Just about boom, boom. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Not even that far behind. This M1. Brr, brr. Wow, the height does not match. Testing the M1 MacBook Air. And we're testing the M1 MacBook Pro. All right, so the latest chips. So we're going to do a, a rendering export test. Check out the graphics card. Let's do it. If you want to win this computer, in the comment section below, write MacBook Air, please. And if you want the MacBook Pro, write down the bottom, MacBook Pro M1, please. It's the M1 and M1, the latest MacBook Air M1, the latest MacBook Pro M1. Giveaways. Let us know in the comment section, which one do you prefer? M1 Air Pro or M1 MacBook Air Pro? We already have the M1 Max here. This is a 2014 Mac. We've got the M1 Air. We've got the M1 Pro. We just grabbed these from Apple. We're going to do a test here. We're going to do an export rendering test. We're going to compare it against a, a broken, smashed Samsung 5G. Um, and we're going to check it all out. Let's, let's do a startup test to see how long these guys take to start up. Yo. Alright, so we've got the startup. See, this 2014 Mac is a little bit slow off the gate. But uh, let's, let's put the, uh, let's put my hat on. Let's, let's put the hat on here. Here we go. So this one's the first up to go. The air, the air is winning. All right, let's type this passwords in here. I have to pause this, so in case you work for the CIA. Air wins the first competition, and our 2014 Mac is still waking up. All right, let's go open up some apps here. Uh, let's open up some apps. This cursor is huge, man. Look how big this is. It's bigger. On the MacBook Air, it's quite small. Look how small it is. Deficient. Open up the apps. Pretty snappy. That's sort of about normal. That's about normal. Let's go it's top into here. Pretty quick as well. All right, so we've already got a project in there. So pretty about the same in terms of opening up apps. Now let's put a 10 minutes, a 10 minute, 1080, 60. Let's look at rendering times. All right, let's do that now. I'm going to get them all organized up. Then we'll press the button and we'll see who's going to win rendering. An iPhone 6, will it render faster than an M1 Mac? Will the Samsung broken win? The Ginjay Vegan? What's going to win the rendering test and by how much? All right, put your money on it, put your bets on, put your bets. MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, 2014 MacBook Pro. Let's go. I'll set these up and test out what downloads faster We're using the same browsers, Safari, Safari. We're going to download this and this for Mac. This is the Dex. Let's hit allow and allow. Who's going to, who's going to download faster? All right, who's going to download faster? The MacBook Pro. Wi-Fi 6 or the MacBook Air Wi-Fi 6, which downloads faster? Oof, MacBook Pro for the win. MacBook Pro just edges it out, probably at the same time. Right the away, the MacBook Air, we've been able to get it on the MacBook Pro transfer using Samsung DeX on the Air. We're getting a lot of freezing going on, the, the cursor's no longer working, we can no longer scroll. The closed app, it keeps crashing on me. So yeah, it's, it's disappointing for an M1 MacBook Air to not work with the software. First of all, problems. Again, we'll try again. It takes a while to find the device. It's about the same, about the same speed as a 2014 MacBook you get for 800 bucks off Facey Marketplace. This is the latest MacBook Air M1. Having a hard time finding, when you're plugged into your Samsung, having a hard time finding that Samsung. The Pro didn't have an issue. It's MacBook Air, we've turned it on and off a few times, just having difficulties, so, so here we go. Again, this is a giveaway computer. Now the MacBook Air has just randomly turned itself off. Okay, okay. So as we've tried again and again, it's finally starting to work there, and it seems about the same speed as the MacBook Pro M1. Uh, this test coming closer. A 1080, 1080p video here, we're going to test on all the things. This is going to be 60 or 1080 frames. Uh, bang. What the vegan size uses the same one. I couldn't work out. It wasn't doing 1080, so we'll do it file size 1.6 gig or 1.58 and a 1.58. It's all essentially the same footage. So let's check it out, which is going to win, who's going to beat, who's going to beat who. So that's going. This one's going. Boom. And boom. And then boom. And then save. 
All right, so what's happening now? Who's gonna win? Which, which one's gonna win? Here we are, we're, uh, the MacBook Pro's edging ahead. Edging ahead the iPhone 6. It is, yeah, it's not doing too bad. The Samsung, 7%, 8%. Yeah, where are we going over here? It's MacBook Pro. So it's not, you know, it's not blisteringly fast. The M1 is a bit of a disappointment, really. Look at this, look at this. This, you know, this is a 2014 MacBook. Let's look at the specs here while we're doing this. While we're waiting. You know I mean? This is a 20 mid-2014 Mac over here. Look at that. You know what I mean? Look at that, how much faster are the new ones? This is going to be a disappointment, I think. People are going to be disappointed. The M1 hype was was big. Will it, you know, will I eat my vegan hat? Will I eat my vegan hat? That massive curse is still there. Uh, so this is the M1 Big Sur. Yeah, it's not doing too bad. The pie chart there, yeah. Come along the air. It's not dragging too far behind. The iPhone 6. The iPhone 6. Yeah, almost halfway. The Samsung, 27%. Let's pause the video and come back to it. Maybe we can talk through the whole thing. Who's going to win? I think we'll pause it. We're two minutes in, almost almost two minutes in. While waiting, fan noise. No noise. No noise. Noise. You hear a bit of noise, a bit of heat. Let's feel the temperature. It's starting to get a bit warmer. Nothing. It's cold. Cold. All right, so the temperature underneath here. And the logic board, it's cold, it's literally cold. Under here, the MacBook Air M1, cold. Under the here, you could cook a bit of tofu almost. Wow, that's that's warm, that's like a cat, that's like a warm pussy belly. All right, so definitely gonna heat up. And it's sort of cool inside today. We are over halfway. Let's see if we could click on this pie chart here and uh, see where we're at. No, it doesn't say any numbers. Doesn't give us any numbers there. Well, iMovie is faster than Final Cut Pro. iMovie is faster than Adobe Premiere. iMovie is the fastest. Oh, the iPhone 6 is coming along. Look at that. Could the iPhone 6... What chip's in these? A, A2? Could it win? Is this going to win? Oh, you know. It's getting tight over here. MacBook Air. Oh, here we go. Samsung's 56%. The Note 5. Oh, here we go. Don't close off on me now yet, baby. And over here, the 2014 MacBook with the i7 Intel. It's going to be tight, isn't it? For these two, between these two M1s. Here we go. I think we've got a winner here. Where's the notification? We're going to have notifications or what? Here we go. Boom. Successful. Okay, so 130. And boom. Okay, so they're the same. They are the same. Wow. MacBook Airs and the MacBook 13, same rendering time. Boom! This one came on as well. So almost iPhone 6 in a tight third position. 68% on the Samsung. And this baby, listen to it. Listen to that fan. It is screaming, mate. It's screaming in there. Oh, it's getting warm underneath. All right, oof. It's hot. So we have here, the conclusion is, the conclusion is, the iPhone 6 is still faster than the Samsung. So Apple iMovie is the fastest rendering software. The latest M1 MacBook Air is as fast at rendering a 1080 project as your iPhone 6, which we got for back in the day. Right, so I've had this for six years. Wow, I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars in this iPhone. Still going strong. There you go, kids. Let's... You know, this, this is the real world stuff. We can do gig benching and sync tech and all this stuff, but I'm a video professional, video editor. I use iMovie. I don't even use Final Cut Pro anymore. Final Cut Pro is just, you know, I don't, I don't I, iMovie. iMovie is where the money is to be made. This video we edited on iMovie. So there we go. Wow. Crazy. This is the first rendering video on YouTube of the M1. First video ever uploaded. Yours truly, and uh, uh, edited on iMovie. We're going to edit on iMovie. We're going to use this. But boom, boom, look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Not even that far behind. This M1. Brr, brr. Wow. The hype does not match. The hype does not match. Wow. What a disappointment. What an absolute disappointment. You know. I mean, temperature, 10 out of 10. It's cold. Okay, we've got that. Battery life's probably going to be pretty good. We can test that. You know, so the temperature on a hot day, if you're living in Thailand, 
Yeah, okay, we got it there. The M1 temperature, boom. Speed-wise, eh, eh. Wow, that wasn't much behind, was it, really? For the money, I mean, this is going to get for for not much on uh, on the internet there. Wow, that's crazy. Disappointing. Speed test failed. Spinning beach ball is on the M1. That's a big spinning beach ball. I don't know why it's spinning. The MacBook Pro is lagging. Look at that. Lag city. Damn. Lagging. Back 10 minutes later, that beach ball is still spinning. I think I just have to turn off this computer. Uh, look, look at there we go. So <laughs> this is the M1 Mac. So it, it, you know, if you think you're gonna get a, a latest MacBook and not have any hiccups, think again. I have to do the force quit. Let's hold it down. And uh, goodbye, Sally. Let's turn it off. Boom. Turn it back on. Try and get this test. We'll do this. This is gonna be round two of the test. We're gonna time it this time to so get exactly what numbers we were looking for. We've got the timer gonna go. We're gonna go to the timer, and we are gonna hit the timer. Start now. We'll give the 2014 a bit of a head start. And then we're going to give this MacBook Air 20, 2020 M1, MacBook Pro 2020, and then the iPhone 6 over the back. We've got it on charge this time to see if that helps speed things up. So last time these, these two were almost a second apart. Third was that Samsung's going to rest out, not enough carbs. We're 20 seconds in. And this little pie, how's it going? That's a good looking stud in that picture, isn't he? And the pie there, come on, note, Samsung, zoom it in, please. Here we go. What are you thinking, Natasha? Just trying me in to see what's going on. Yeah, all right, we'll, go, we'll pause it on here. We'll come back with the first champion. This is the second round, just to make all things even. And I did find, this is 1080-60 now, we worked out how to do that, so it's really even now. Limit any variables. All right, here we go, we're three minutes seven in. We're almost on that pie. Oh, all right, who's gonna win out of these two again? Let's take this off charge and bring it over here. Bring it to the party. iPhone 6, the trusty iPhone 6, 2014, I bought that. Lined up for seven weeks. And here we have here the stud in the corner. Come on, don't go. Here we go, bang. Oh, that MacBook Air one this time. Then bang with a second later. So 332 for 1080, 60 frames, 10 minute video. The iPhone 6 coming up. The old Mackie here is lagging. Natasha, what's your thoughts while we're waiting for this? Uh, Wait for this competition to go. So we had three thirty-two was the winning time. My thoughts. Yeah. Well, I, I haven't even seen the computer yet. I just sat down here. Yeah. Um, don't so don't touch it. No, I'm not touching it. Yeah, just keep your hands away from that. Just just social distance your fingers, oh, please. Oh yeah, yeah. And then so yeah, what, what's your thoughts? You can you let look at the computers though. Just don't <laughs> touch. Don't touch it. Um, my thoughts on how they look. They look sort of sleek. Same. Yeah. They're cool. Oh, here we go. Bang. So to interrupt you, four thirteen. So we're about thirty something 40 seconds slower than on the iPhone 6 so that's the third place over here and yeah keep talking Natasha while we're waiting here we're still on that little pie there 425 the pro and the air look the same don't they <laughs> just a touch bar differentiates them but they oh. export at the same time yeah so we've got a private number calling up but uh, there we go there we go oh, I actually have an appointment today at 2 o'clock I've got to go to <laughs> so uh, we're almost done here so it was 3.32 was the winning time. 3.32 was the winning time. And uh, we had a 4.13 on the the uh, iPhone 6. So yeah, I would say that the if you bought one of these, here we go, we almost got the notification. Almost got the notification. So if you, if you went out and bought a computer today, a new M1, and you had a 2014 MacBook 15 inch, I think you might be disappointed you're going to spend those thousands of dollars to get, you know, two minute faster rendering time. Two minutes faster rendering time, for me it's not worth the money. These computers will give them away in the comment section down below. So listen to it down below. Do you want a MacBook Air or do you want a MacBook Pro M1? Listen down below. I'm going to keep my 2014 Mac. I'll wait till the 16 inch ones come out and we'll try again. Otherwise, these are faster, but not thousands of dollars worth it for me. Let us know down below. What do you think? Which one do you want? MacBook Pro or MacBook Air M1? So, temperature-wise, still cool. Still cool, we've done two renders. Phone, phone's actually sort of pretty warm. The iPhone 6, MacBook, yeah, it's nice and snug. A cat would sit on this. A cat would piss on this, but a cat would sit on this and rest nicely because it's quite warm. So if you do want a cold computer, 
Just think extra $2,000, it's very cold. Wow, that is very, very cold. 